Hi, my name's Ken Fisher. Welcome to a series of videos on an amazing piece of software called Lightroom. Now a common question about Lightroom that's asked is exactly what is it? Well this can be summed up in two words really. Workflow and processing. So processing, well we all understand that. Lightroom has all the processing power of Camera Raw and if you, you'll be familiar with that if you've used Photoshop. In addition, it enables us with a workflow. So what's that all about? Well, let me explain. Let's imagine we need to wash our car. Now to do this, we'll need several things. We'll probably need a sponge. We might need a bucket to put some water in. We'll obviously need to find a tap to get some water in the bucket. We'll need some car wash. And we might need a chamois leather to polish it all off when we've done. Now all these, the, the sponge and the tap, they're all different functions. They're all different skill sets. We might be really good with a sponge, but can we get the top off this car bottle? No chance. Do we like carrying a bucket round? No, we're not really good with a bucket, but we're pretty good with the chamois leather. So they all have different types of skill sets. Now I remember not too long ago, it was very similar with photography. You know, you had a, a piece of software for, for editing your images. You had another piece of software for putting keywords in. You had lots of different pieces of software, all from different suppliers, all looking different on the interfaces. So you had to learn a lot of skill sets to be able to do it all right. And very rare did any of the software talk to each other. Well, Lightroom is modeled more on the car wash. And with the car wash, you bring your car in at this end, you put your money in, you sit and read your newspaper, and you come out the other end with an output or a clean car. Well, Lightroom is much the same, that we bring the image in at one end, and then everything we need is in Lightroom to create whatever output we want, be it a slideshow, be it a print, be it a website. We can do everything from within Lightroom. This is the essence of workflow. OK, let's dig a bit deeper. At its heart, Lightroom is a very robust image editor with all the power of Camera Raw. In addition to this, it's a very robust database which allows for very efficient search and retrieval of your images. And Lightroom is designed to be modular, where all the similar functions have been gathered together in one place. Now first is the library module. This is where we import and organize our images. Here we perform all the cataloging functions, star ratings, color labels, keywords, metadata, and more. All of which make for very efficient searching and retrieval of our images. Once we have completed this, we take the images into the develop module to correct and improve them. Next, we have the map module, where in collaboration with Google Maps, we can now organize our images on a world map and can place them precisely where we want them to, right down to street level. Next, we have the book module, where we can use our images to create stunning books, complete with titles and text, and upload it directly to the internet to be professionally printed and delivered to your door. It may be required to showcase our images to a client, and we can do this as a slideshow. For this, we can use the slideshow module and export our finished product as a PDF or a video format, which can be played on any computer. After viewing the slideshow, your client may want some prints, and that we can do in the print module. In there, there are many templates that are fully customizable and able to be saved out as a user template for future use. And finally, there is the web module, where we can quickly assemble a fully customizable web gallery and upload it directly to your server space right from inside Lightroom. 
Now the classical workflow that we might find might be like this. We could use Bridge and we'd normally use Bridge for doing all our previewing and all our cataloging functions. Once we finished that we would pass the images off through either Adobe Camera Raw or if it's a JPEG directly and we would pass them into Photoshop. And in Photoshop we would do things like editing, outputting and saving. So this is quite a linear sort of workflow. Now Lightroom works differently. Lightroom has all the cataloging functions and more of Adobe Bridge. It also has all the processing power of Adobe Camera Raw. In addition to this we have a very very good database system. Now this lends itself more to a circular workflow using Photoshop if you like as a plug-in to Lightroom. So just let's have a look at this. We would use Lightroom for doing all our previewing, all our cataloging, all our adjustments, all our slideshows, printing, etc, etc, etc. Anything we can't do in Lightroom, then Lightroom would pass off into Photoshop. And in Photoshop, we can use this now as a plugin. And we can do things like add layers, add type, do complex masking, use smart objects, panoramas, all these things that Lightroom is not capable of doing. And then when we've finished, we pass back to Lightroom. So we have a circular workflow. So we come out of Lightroom, into Photoshop, and then back into Lightroom again. So again, we don't leave Lightroom. The circle is complete. Well, okay, that wraps up our conversation about what Lightroom is and where it fits. Let's look now in more detail. And we'll do that in the very next video.